For those who want to go farther, who want to get closer to the more classic version of the pose, Sarvangasana, we're going to continue on as we did before. Sarah, again, is going to walk her feet up the wall, take her hips off the floor, and take her hands to her back. You can see she's being very thorough in getting the outer shoulders to roll underneath her, getting the flesh of the outer arms strongly underneath her, and her hands are firm on her back. Now she again comes to the very tips of the toes to try to get more of the body over the shoulders. As we did in, when we were working on handstand, just trying with one leg, I'm going to ask Sarah just to take one leg up. She takes that leg up and she reaches it towards the ceiling, and again, using the leg to motivate length in the spine. And then I'm going to ask her to switch legs. She takes her other leg up, extends it towards the ceiling, as if someone's there pulling this leg up to get that sense of extension and length. Good. Yep. And now, I'll, for those of you who think that's good practice enough, that's fine. If you want to try to balance, as Sarah does, she's going to take one leg off and then the other leg and come to the more classic version of the pose. Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. You can see she has a very good alignment. Again, her feet are directly over her knees, her knees are directly over the hips, her hips are directly over the shoulders. A very straight line, shoulder stand, so the weight of the body does go in the shoulders, not in the head. You can also see that the face is quite relaxed, even though the legs are quite active. And again, you want to create this sense that the you're being pulled up by the legs. The legs should be doing work, and the legs should get tired before anything else does in this pose. The benefits of this pose are innumerable. I could go on for quite a while on all of the benefits of this pose. And quite frankly, it would be nothing bad for Sarah because it's very good to stay in this pose. It's very beneficial to remain in this pose for, for a longer period of time. But as I said before, the pose is not just good for the body, but it's also very good for the nervous system. Very, very good for bringing fresh arterial blood to the brain, as well as to the thyroid, again, the parathyroid glands that regulate the release of the adrenals and, and, and other hormones of the body. Uh, when she comes out, when Sarah's coming out, she keeps her hands firm on her back, and she's going to bend one leg at a time, find the wall with that one foot. Once she finds a wall, she feels safe enough to take the other leg down, and then she comes out of the pose the way that she came in letting the hips drop. As we did in the last pose, she's going to push her feet into the wall, slide back until her shoulders come to the ground, and then she's just going to cross her legs and rest here. 